It's a big task taking on any project, even if that project is building a tiny house. For the kids in the vocational program of the Smith County Juvenile Services Hope Academy, it's about focusing on behavior modification and family parent relationships. CBS 19's JJ Maldonado spoke with the supervisor of the project and how it benefits those in the program. Definitely we want to continue it. David Peters is a supervisor at the Juvenile Services Vocational Program. Uh, when we started the program, we started with six kids, then advanced to eight, uh, and now we're up to uh, where we'll allow up to 12 kids. Peters works with the kids at the detention center. He says the tiny house project is making a big impact on their future. We came up with the tiny house um, uh, idea as a way to um, to cover all aspects of uh, construction. From using hand and power tools to drafting and designing a building from the ground up. The program is not cheap. It took Peters and his crew more than a year to complete. The house costing about $11,000, but thanks to donors, they were able to get the job done. Peter says the goal is to continue the tiny house project in the vocational program with the help of the community. Uh, we've even talked about uh, if we can find uh, uh, nonprofits and stuff that could uh, use uh, either a tiny house or even uh, nonprofits that could use a, uh, a storage shed. We got you covered, East Texas. JJ Maldonado, CBS 19. Peter says another one of the program's goals is to work with colleges in the area to get the program accredited.